Cable abductors. So if you do not have access to a cable abduction machine or if you are looking for a variation on the abduction movement, the cable abduction movement might be right for you. So we're going to set the pin to the lowest setting, put on those ankle attachments. Uh, there's various types. Go ahead and hook in one leg. You're going to stand perpendicular to the machine. Use a light weight to start. You really don't need a heavy weight in order to feel this movement. You're going to hold on to the post, which is sometimes a little slimy, or to the handle that's uh, positioned there. I'm going to put all my weight on my stabilizing leg, which is the leg on the ground, and I'm going to drive more with the heel, maybe even the baby toe of my working leg, leaning slightly forward at the hip, to try to hit that small glute on the side of the hip. We're gonna go for the number of reps and then you're gonna detach and continue for the number of reps for the other side. Make sure you keep your core tight, your chest proud, and you're working each of the reps. Now you can also work the abductors if you put the cable behind your stabilizing leg. This is going to be more of a challenge. Increase the range of motion a little bit more so you do have to stabilize your entire core in order to do this movement. For the opposite side, we're gonna go ahead and hook into the cables, lean forward at the hips as you can see here, holding on to that post to give a counterbalance, driving with the heel of the foot, almost to the baby toe, turning the toe inward slightly at the top of the motion. You can also work the abductors using the cable behind the body. You do not have to lift your leg as high as I'm lifting, just lift it as high as you need to go to feel the maximum contraction. 